Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So you would have seen in the last video we did a review of this particular unit, the Foxwell NT710. Today I just want to give you a couple of new videos in terms of actually how to use this specific to the Mini and solving problems. So first of all we'll do a setup video. So obviously the first time you receive this you will have to create an account so that you can obviously select the software that you want to download for Mini or whatever particular manufacturer you're after. We'll have that initial setup attaching to the Wi-Fi so it can download the software, etc. So we're going to walk you through all of those steps in this first video, and then we'll have a second video where we try and solve a problem with the Mini using the unit. Okay, so we've got the box, nice and simple. Explains what it is. Let's open it up. And we've got a nice carry case inside. Got a handle, zips. Let's open that up. Okay, and inside what have we got? So we've got the OBD cable. So decent length, so this isn't the wireless one. So you will have to be connected to the car, but that's fine. You've got a USB-C charger. You've got the manuals and some stickers. Obviously there's a little pocket to hold, whether it's your wires, etc. And then you've got unit itself. So if we just open that up, we can see just across there we've got the power button what looks like to be the charger cable the connection to the obd and that's pretty much it it's nice and solid so it'll be good in the garage for sure okay so we've got the setup procedure so hold the power button on the top got the little green light on you can see the little foxwell logo load in there with the screen right in the middle so this whole thing isn't the screen it's sort of about there so you can see that starting up okay so we can see we're on 90 percent power it's asking me to create an account so i don't have an account at the moment so i need to register so i need to pick my wi-fi network we'll cover up my password for a second put that in so we can connect to the internet, download any updates, etc. Okay, so we've got the registration screen, so we just put our email address in. And the key, keypad's a bit small, so if you've got big fingers, you might, you might struggle a bit. You just take your time. Okay, it's going to send an email. So I'm going to grab my laptop, get the verification code. You just input the verification code in and then set your password. free registration okay hit OK and it will now log in and it says activate serial number I'm assuming that's the serial number of this unit and it's pre-populated so we just hit OK okay so we get to choose a make and first time use so put yes and what do we want we want mini Assuming is Mini under BMW. Got to be sure. Though. Includes Mini, Rolls Royce, and BMW. Okay. The looks of it, you get one manufacturer when you set up, and then you can always select more. So if I hit the home button, we get to the home screen. Okay, so one of the great features of this particular unit is the fact you have a cheaper upfront cost because you're not having to purchase software for all manufacturers. So for me, if you go into shopping, I've obviously shown that I've picked the Mini, but if you go and purchase another car, let's say you've brought a Peugeot, 
you could actually buy the software. So you get free lifetime upgrades as part of it. So it's a super cost effective solution. So you don't have that upfront cost. You can come in and purchase as and when you need it support for additional manufacturers. I think that's, that's really useful for a DIYer like me. Okay, so the next step you need to do is just update your software. So if you hit the update button, you see in the middle of the screen there, you'll be able to see all the latest versions of the software that you've got. So whether it's for the, the mini that I've downloaded, whether it's for the actual operating system on the tablet, but what you wanna do is make sure that you set all of the updates to start downloading. So you've got, or you can individually update them, or you can actually click update all and download all of those features. And what that means is you've got the latest software, the latest options and choices in terms of the particular car that you're looking at. It'll take some time down to, to download and it's obviously using the Wi-Fi connection that we've just set up. So what I would say is set that up, leave it to go. What you'll see, it might need to reset the tablet as it's downloading and installing that software. But what I would say is just get this all done, set aside some time to obviously do your setup and your updates before you actually want to use your scanner. That way you know you've got the best and most up-to-date tool in your hand as you go to use it. So what we'll do, we'll let the update process carry on. Okay, so now your Foxwell tablet's all set up and ready to go, so you'll be able to connect it to your car and scan it, etc. So what we'll do, we'll leave the video there and we'll pick up in the next video on how to actually use the scanner. So if you found today's video useful, please hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get alerts every time we upload new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.